I am by the names of Ndatimana Emmanuel. At the school, I am called Teacher Emmanuel. Primary five pupils, please go away from the distractors. Take a notebook, a pen, and or a pencil. By the end of this video, there will be questions which you will respond to. Therefore, make sure your answers reach to me such that I will give you the feedback. Go with me. You have heard it from the beginning in the table of content. Computer, my friend, is the unit title number one. A computer is an important device that can store data in its memory. And since it can store information, it is a very important friend that you need in your life. Look at these big pictures. Would you please describe each picture? Thank you. According to what you have observed from the pictures, would you predict what you are going to run? Wow. In common, those pictures are used to store data. That is why the lesson title today is Data and Memory. Would you explain the meaning of data? Yes. What is data? Data are facts and figures that need to be processed by a computer. Processed figures and facts are called information. This was discussed from primary four. From primary four, we said that data are facts and figures that need to be processed by a computer. And processed figures and facts are called information. We used to say that data refers to anything typed from the keyboard. Because in examples of data, we have letters of alphabets like A, B, C, D, E, F, G. You continue reach until you reach to Z. Data contains numeric numbers such as 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. In data, we also have symbols like Asterix, dollar, percent, slash, dash, equals to, brackets, question mark, exclamation mark, among the others. Data is entered into the computer using computer input devices like keyboard and mouse a camera can also be an input device as much as it helps to put data inside the device i hope we discussed this enough from grade four another point here is meaning of that of memory the unity title is computer, my friend. The lesson title is data and memory. You have now understood what data is. Let's now go to the meaning of memory. Would you please tell me the name of your school? Thank you. Your school is Imanzi City of Maine. Wow. Would you tell me the name of the teacher who taught you in primary one? Great. Then, how have you been able to remember your P1 teacher? It is because your brain has memory. Your brain stored the name of the teacher who taught you in primary one. Not only the name, but also the face of that teacher. 
to mean that the memory refers to parts of a computer that are used to store data or information. Like our brain has the memory which stores information and experience, the computer also has the memory which stores all the things we do with it. For a computer to store information effectively, it should have memory. The memory holds instructions and data needed to complete tasks. Wow, we are almost done. Welcome in the session of questions. Take your notebook, a pen, and a pencil if needed. Listen to the questions carefree before answering them. Closing out will lead to the loss of marks. A good handwriting is a must and a target. Question number one. What is a computer? Question number two. Why is the unity title referred to as computer my friend? Question number three A. What is data? Question number three, letter B. Give examples of data. Question number three, letter C. One, how is data entered into the computer? Question number three, letter C. Two, Enumerate the input devices used to enter data into a computer. Question number four, letter A. Describe what is memory. Question number four, letter B. One, what is the role of memory to a computer? Question number four, letter B, two. What is the role of memory to people? Question number four, letter B, three. What is the role of memory to animals? Thank you very much. Respond to the questions carefully and let me know your answers. I will give you my guidance for the right answers. I will give you feedback. You can either send me the answers through my email or to the WhatsApp number. I will be ready to give you the feedback. Otherwise, you can keep the answers and bring them to me face to face at the beginning of term one in the academic year of 2022-2023.